Okay, so let's look at this last electricity um, problem that you were given, where you actually have to make some readings from a non-linear, non-ohmic device, which has been put in series with a resistor. So again, this really is just going to be a problem that uses Kirchhoff's laws and Ohm's law. First, we're asked to put on the figure, indicate the point where the curve of the voltage through the current for the nonlinear device. So whereabouts are we on this curve here? So the first thing we have to identify is um, what is the voltage in the current going to be in our device? We can use the fact that the current will be the same both through our resistor and the nonlinear device. So we have enough information here to calculate the current using V equals IR, which means the current is going to be equal to the voltage divided by the resistance, which is going to be 100 ohms. Uh, sorry, it's going to be 2 divided by 100 ohms. And that'll give us a current of 0.02 amps, which is the same as 20 milliamps. So we now know that we have 20 milliamps traveling through this part of the resistor, which means we must have 20 milliamps traveling through here. The other piece of information that we can use is the fact that if this is two volts across here and we have five volts in total, then that must be three volts across there. So we know we've got three volts across the nonlinear device and we know we've got 20 milliamps through it. So we're at three volts, 20 milliamps, and we can see that that works out very nicely and it sits very perfectly on our graph. Okay, the next question asks us to calculate how much electrical energy is being converted. So we're going to use our rule for energy, which is equal to VIT. And remember, this comes directly from our definition of power. And this is really just plug it in and, and grab the answer. So substituting in, we're going to have two volts times 0.02 amps times 10 and that's going to give us 0.4 of a joule and be careful they're asking for us in millijoules so that means it's going to be 400 millijoules so notice here that in both questions they've used um, slightly different units and the expectation is that you can recognize and convert those units Okay, so the next question is to determine what happens if a 100 ohm resistor is replaced by the 200 ohm resistor. First off, we need to remember that we have a situation where these are in series with each other. So, and a fact that this device is designed in a way that it should sit always on three volts. So assuming that it doesn't change its voltage, that means that there should still be two volts across this resistor here. We can double check to make sure that is the case because we know that if the current is very small, we may be in this section of the graph. So just double checking. We do that by again finding the current through this resistor because that will be the same as the current through our nonlinear device. So now substituting this, we're going to use I equals VR again, but this time around we've got still got two volts on the top, but we've got 200 ohms on the bottom which is going to give us 0.01 of a, a volt, which is the same as 10, sorry, amps, apologize, 10 milliamps. We go back to our graph and we can see, yes, absolutely, at 10 milliamps, we are still using up three volts. So we know that we have three volts still being used up in that section there. Okay, the last question asks us, um, tells us that the 100 ohm resistor is placed back in. DC voltage of the battery is now increased from 5 to 6 volts. Which of the following expressions best represents the current? So again, we're going to use the fact that we know what's going on in the way that things are being shared. So back down to our picture. If this is now 6 volts, if we've still got 3 volts across here, it means there's going to be 3 volts across our resistor. If there's three volts across our resistor and a 100 ohm resistance, then again, using our current is equal to, right, our current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. 
this time round our voltage is going to be 3 divided by the 100 ohms and that's going to give us 0 0.03 of an amp which is the same as 30 milliamps which is option D.